ask you one thing, Ty, and I'm very interested in this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So (laughs) we've seen a really awesome rise of the OnlyFans movement. And you, Ty, are part of that. Part of it. So first of all, bandwagon OnlyFans girl. Fuck it. Whether it's (laughs) you or we just seen Eric Andre join, it's been a good time to um it's been a good time to see people wanting to get a hustle. We're starting to break stigmas of sex work. We're starting to make this mainstream for good reasons. So, Ty, you're a part of OnlyFans. You have an OnlyFans. Feel free to plug it as well for anyone interested in wanting to see the great work Ty does over there. But tell me, Ty, uh, why OnlyFans? You said you just bet you're on the bandwagon, but why did you join this movement of OnlyFans? So, first of all, you can find me at OnlyFans.com slash Heart of Thai, H A R T O F T A I. Um, I think it's like seven ninety nine. Nothing. <laughs> uh, why? We all why start I, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I honestly, out of boredom, Matt. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I really was, and it was, it was getting to me, like, like emotionally and and uh like spiritually you know uh, just the the like the monotony of of having nothing to do really like I I work one day a week at this coffee shop I work out sometimes in my room you know because it's freezing cold outside Mm -hmm. I think I started it in late November so it had just started to get cold out and going outside for no reason really became less of a thing. Like the, when the weather is nice, you can do that in New York and there's, there's always something to do. You're always going to run into somebody on the street. I, yeah. I know like a lot of people in the neighborhood. Um, so yeah, honestly, it sounds lame, but like out of sheer boredom, I, I was like, let, let's just like, see what this is all about. Like, I'm. Um, I'm on, I'm on all these dating apps and, and I I get a lot of attention, whether it's for being trans or, or whatever. Like I, Mm -hmm. I know that I get a lot of attention on dating apps. And so I was just like, why not charge for it? Like, yeah, (laughs) I think it's important to point it out that this is just a way, a fair consensual way to, you know, beat the boredom, as you said, and also, it's it's a tough time for people to get money out here. And let's be oh, real. God. No matter what your orientation is, except if you're asexual, everyone likes sex one way or the other. Hell yeah. It's so, a whole different profession. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, go back to the Bible. There was prostitution as early as um, in Jesus's time. Yeah. And I think it's really cool now, despite that people made it so taboo, whether it's higher ups and communications and censoring and stuff and as whether it's the rise from social media or just more mainstream stories to it, use that part of life that everybody connects to one way or the other and most importantly yeah. do it a connection in a consensual loving way it's it's time to have people like you show off their stories and we've seen examples of people putting themselves out there whether in the adult industry or what and people are getting taken advantage especially women and it's this is a great way now with OnlyFans to say like, hey, it's OK to feel this way. It's OK to have that empowerment. And, you know, this is just me from the sidelines cheering on and seeing this cool thing and just another way of storytelling. So. Basically tying this all together, could you talk to me about the empowerment that OnlyFans gives you and helps gives other people in your situation and and uh, during this movement of the rise of OnlyFans and making it more mainstream, what is that empowerment it gives you particularly, Ty? Yeah, I feel like I feel like as I feel like as a as a as a woman, you are a lot of times like you move through the world in a way that is like generally at the mercy of men but just I mean the the patriarchy you know like like, everything everything you do is touched by the like male gaze you know Mm -hmm. um and 
so to to make this to to have this platform and really really to 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 open a bit it's it's like I opened a business yeah it's like I opened a small business um so to 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 take what is what is just already within you and this thing that is is being taken advantage of otherwise you know and and put whether it be a a subscription price on it or uh just like you you're just owning it you know you're owning what what is already there what is already in some sense is being taken advantage of by people by men um and and you're saying like like no like i'm i'm not going to be taken advantage of like pay up but 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 really pay up like that respect me yeah. you know like that's really what that means um so yeah it 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 it's it's really cool it feels really good to <laughs> um to not just just feel like to not just feel like thrown to the wind, you know, like, uh, like I'm out here and this is, this is who I am, but like, I can, I can reclaim some of it, um, and benefit from it. 